And now, a brief message from Julia's voiceover. Hi everyone, I just wanted to say that this video was filmed before I cut my hair, so it's not to be surprised or estranged if you see me with the longer hair. So that's that, now back to our regular schedule. Didn't see you there. How's it going? What's up? It's an inspired outfit video. It's another TV show. It's one that probably a lot of you love as well. And it's sex education. I chose to do this video dressing up as sex education characters because I think that the show has a really diverse fashion for each character. Each character has a really unique style to it. We can differentiate them from each other. As show creator Laurie Nunn and director executive producer Ben Taylor said in an interview with GQ magazine, they wanted the characters' outfits to blend British and American culture. It's almost like it comes from a comic book, you know? Nunn explained. I think that's a good way of putting it, Taylor added. Your dream is to create an iconic look that people can just remember somebody from just one jacket or Eric's shirts or something that represents a character, so that they really fit the aesthetic. I think the comic book comparison is a good way of looking at it and it's definitely how I spoke to our art design team. And that's one of the things that I really like about the show, the characters really repeat their outfits from day to day because they are teenagers. I think that the character that most fit what they described is Otis, like he's always wearing the same outfit, he only changes his shirts. With that being said, I'm going to talk in this video about what's in the wardrobe of the characters, like what seems to be the things that they like to wear, and what makes their style, and how he represents them, and how he makes them feel, things like that. I will try to be creative and choose pieces that can be similar to what the character is wearing. I already got my jeans, mostly these babies are going to be wearing a lot of the characters in this video. So now that I said everything, let's start with our first character. Otis Milburn so Otis doesn't really care much about fashion, I think you can see that. His style is very simple and very reminiscent of what teen boys usually wear. We can find in his wardrobe a variety of shirts, mostly polo shirts and t-shirts. He usually wears brown pants or his jeans and sneakers. His most current piece is his jacket and it became what people associate Otis with. You could see it from a mile and you would know it's him. And in some occasions we could see him in a sweatshirt or in a hoodie, but it's actually pretty rare. His favorite prints are plaid and stripes, and the colors that he usually wears the most are blue, yellow, and light pink. In the end, I think that Otis' style is pretty casual, he keeps true to himself. Like with that scene with Ruby, he's not gonna change himself or what he wears because she thinks that it's embarrassing. It may not be a fashion statement, but it's what he likes and what makes him feel comfortable. Okay, okay, so for starters, I need to explain here. My outfit idea for him is that I would take the colors that are in his jacket and build the outfit around that, while keeping the pieces he would usually wear. And this is the result. Pretty simple, right? Okay, let's unpack this. I'm wearing a black striped polo shirt, my trusty mom jeans, and red all stars as the basis of the outfit. Before we move on, I gotta say this. Why do some boys like wearing their shirts loose like this, when they could be wearing like this? Just tucking the shirt and voila, it looks so much better. But no, they like wearing loose, so I must wear it too, for the purpose of this video. I felt a little frustrated there, but <laughs> we're good. To complete the outfit, I added this white jacket, reminiscent of his bomber jacket, and this beige backpack. This outfit is okay, I think it definitely looks like something Otis would wear, so mission accomplished on that. For me personally, it doesn't give much joy since I like to dress up, but it's somewhat comfy and it was cool just to see how I looked in it. I look like a teenage boy, sort of. Maeve Wiley Okay, let's talk about Maeve, this is gonna be fun. Maeve's style is very diverse inside the grunge look. She usually wears a lot of different combinations, like a leather jacket to a fringe jacket, shorts or skirts, t-shirts to button-ups to sheer tops, and always wearing tights whatever she chooses to combine with. 
Needless to say, her favorite color is black, as seen in many of her outfits, where she combines with other dark colors like red, gray or purple. With prints, she usually wears stripes or plaid. She wears accessories like gold hoop earrings, three set necklace and she has a nose ring on the left side. I think that she dresses the way she does as a way to look intimidating and make people think a thing or two before approaching her, since it's very hard for her to trust anyone. It's also a way to protest against all the rumors about her and the way people view her. They think she's scary, so she chooses to be scary and of course sarcastic, as a way of self-defense. So, here's Maeve. I really went all out with her. I love this outfit she wears on season 1 with the plaid shirt, so I decided to get inspiration from that look. I'm wearing a plaid black and red shirt, this black button-up skirt, black tights since I don't have the fishnet ones, and my combat boots. For accessories, I made a mashup to try imitate her 3-in-1 necklace, plus the choker, some rings and gold hoop earrings. I also put on similar makeup as hers to enhance their overall look. I had a lot of fun coming with Maeve's outfit. She was one of the reasons I wanted to make this video in the first place. It's just such a cool style and I definitely saw myself in another light since I don't usually dress like this. It's true that you kinda get angsty vibes from it and start acting like you don't give a damn about anything. There's other outfits of her to explore, but this one is definitely a staple of hers. I'm glad I got to try it. Eric F. Young Eric's style is bold. He definitely has a lot of fun mixing prints and trying new matches. He usually wears matching sets, but it's also common to see him in a classic silhouette, but adding his charm to it. In a way, I really think that he made his style his own because it's so present and vibrant. We can usually find in his wardrobe t-shirts and shirts of various types, bomber jacket, jean jacket, pants of different colors, and sneakers. About prints, he usually wears prints that are part of his heritage, but we can also find him in leopard prints, stripes, plaid. I really think that Eric takes fashion seriously as a way to express himself. He's loud, he's bold, he's enthusiastic and not afraid to be who he is. So that's why he goes all out when it comes to his outfits. It's a message to show himself and tell people that he's here to stay. I had a really hard time coming up with Eric's outfit, but we did it and here it is. I leaned more for his casual style of when he's wearing his jean jacket, since I don't have much clothing that resembles his. I have this shirt that was from my dad, he gave it to me because I like it so much. I think it fits perfectly with what Eric would wear. I'm also wearing a jean jacket, these plaid pants and my red sneakers. It's pretty basic, but with the twist of the prints that he usually does. I worked with what I had, and I think that the elements are there. You can imagine Eric wearing something like this for sure. I'm sorry I couldn't give more justice to you, Eric. It is what it is. Adam Graff So, Adam's style is pretty normal. Like Otis, he tends to wear what usually teenage boys wear to school except he's more into hoodies and sweatshirts. He also seems to enjoy wearing a lot of tank tops. Those are the items that we see most in his wardrobe. Along with that, we can also find t-shirts, his jeans, the jean jacket and the brown jacket, white sneakers and a golden necklace that he usually wears. The colors that he likes to wear the most are blue, white, brown and aqua green. I don't think Adam gives much thought about his style or what makes his style. He seems to wear what catches his eyes as cool. And here I am as Adam, trying to impersonate his quiet but intimidating way of being. Now, about the outfit, I'm wearing a white tank top, a grey zip hoodie layered by a jean jacket, the same mom jeans and white socks with white sneakers. I'm also wearing this golden necklace I have to resemble his. With Adam's outfit, I definitely felt out of my comfort zone. This is just not something I would usually wear, and while I do think that it's alright, it's just not for me. 
Rahim. Rahim style is what I call simple but stylish. It's kinda classic too. We can find in his wardrobe white t-shirts, white button-ups, black pants, grey jacket, black sneakers that are chunky, white socks, belt with a chain attached, silver rings and his beanie. With prints, sometimes he will wear stripes, but it's pretty rare. And the colors that we are usually going to find in his outfits are white, black and grey. His style is constant, but also calls attention as mysterious, in a way. I think that him wearing only black and white is like he's a canvas about to be painted. He's not full yet, he's building himself little by little. Since he's a poet and into art, I would take that as a way to interpret his style. But that could also mean nothing, and I just made up in my head. I don't know. And here's our work of art. I definitely feel like an Einstein artist in this. I'm wearing a simple white t-shirt with a black cardigan in place of his jacket, black pants, look at the pockets on the side, a belt with a chain attached to the side, white socks and vans. I also added some rings and of course the black beanie, the closest I could find to his in my wardrobe. I took my book of drawings as a prop to show his love for poetry. I liked wearing this, there's something cool about it. I think I gave quite the mysterious vibe that he has. One of the cool things about trying each style is that you see how yourself would look in it and maybe take some inspiration too. With Rahim, I definitely see me taking some things from his style and adding to mine. Ola Nyman Ola's style is cute and practical. It's actually really fun too. I wouldn't say it's more fun than Lily since she goes all out with her outfits, but she definitely likes to express herself as well. We can find in her wardrobe t-shirts, zipper shirts, sweatshirts, long sleeve, overalls of different kinds, jeans, green jacket, striped jacket, sneakers. She wears accessories like two-in-one necklace, silver hoop earrings, and she has a nose ring in the right side. In some occasions we see her wearing a dress and a jumpsuit that is usually when she works for her dad. I really think that she uses her style to express who she is and what she cares for. Her outfits are very colorful and full of life. So this is what I came up with for Ola's outfit. Since I don't have any rainbow clothing, I focused more on the pieces that make her outfit and worked around that. Luckily, I had this green jacket that resembles her. I wearing the striped top, the green jacket, the mom jeans, belt, red sneakers, and my 11 socks that go with the color scheme. For accessories, I chose this moon necklace, kinda like the style that she wears, some rings and this butterfly earrings. I really like this outfit, I really do. It's kinda in the middle of what I could come up to wear on my own, when it comes to more street style or casual wear. Definitely Julia approved. Lily I go heart. Lily's style is very fun, but I also consider to be a wild card because it's too much happening, it's a lot of colors, a lot of prints. She doesn't seem to mind, but for us seeing her style, it can be a lot. She usually likes wearing pastel colors, doing something different for each fit, but keeping a fanny pack with her. We can find in her wardrobe long sleeve turtlenecks, t-shirts, sweaters, pants, overalls, jumpsuits, and sneakers. In Lily's case, she also has a hairstyle that she uses on a daily basis, that is the space buns. I think that Lily uses her style without worrying or caring about what other people will think of her. While it can be weird at first sight, all the combinations that she's doing, she's doing her own thing. I can say with guarantee that I've managed to accomplish portraying Lily's style. She was a tough one. Her style is one of a kind and definitely nothing like mine. But with her staple pieces and color scheme, I was able to come up with this set. I'm wearing a white turtleneck, layer bar blue vest, these green plaid pants that I love, white socks and pink sneakers. I added this pink coat that matches with the shoes and is similar to the one that she wears. 
In the last minute, I thought about adding this bag too, to complete the look. Last but not least, I did the space buns and added this hair clip with the flowers details on it. I see Lily wearing this easily, it's just really her style. I thought it was fun to try it on, but I wouldn't wear this set by choice. I'm more of wearing each piece individually in a different way. But layering is important, I'll give her that. Now that we got that out of the way, let me just say this. Doing the space buns was the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life. It took me so much time to make it work, and when it did, it fell apart really easily since my hair is really thin. I think I had my experience with it, and I'm not doing this again. It did the job it had to do for the outfit, and that's it. Once is good enough. Jackson Marchetti I like to call Jackson's style casual but polished. He knows what fits him well, like the polo shirts, which is kinda his statement piece, along with the school jacket. Along with his polo shirts, we can also find in his wardrobe long sleeve shirts, blue jeans, khaki pants, belt, and white sneakers. The colors that he likes to use the most are blue, yellow, light pink, and green. I think that Jackson style says that he cares about looking nice and put together. He won't go out with prints, but the use of bright colors shows an interest in being noticed. So he coordinates that with his outfit and he does look fine as it is. And here it is. It's basic for sure, but I tried to add a little something of my personal style to it. So I got this polo shirt that has a little cherry on the side, which I love. For his jacket, I took this red cardigan I have to resemble that my trusty mom jeans again, belt and white socks with white sneakers. It's a take on it. It kind of reminds me of the preppy style. It doesn't look exactly the same, but it's inspired. It's adapted. Like a girl version of him, maybe? I don't know, I still think it looks good, and I definitely like it more than Otis. Amy Gibbs Okay, Amy's style is very vibrant and cheerful. She likes to wear strong colors with a jeans combination and has fun trying different prints from time to time. We can find in her wardrobe jean jacket, jeans, skirts, different kinds of tops and other types of jackets, boots, and she usually wears a cat necklace. The colors that she usually wears the most are red, blue, yellow, orange, and green. So with Amy, I think that she shows her personality throughout her outfits, showing she's a very cheerful person. Usually bright colors can be associated with happiness, and that's the message she wants to pass through, that she's a happy person willing to help others. And being a people pleaser, it's a big part of her story, something that she's learning how to deal and manage. Since Amy's style is very different from my own, to build her outfit was a little tricky, but I think I've managed to find a middle term. First, this is the outfit, the basis composition with some colors here and there. I'm wearing this green top with a v-neck, the usual mom jeans, this pink belt that has some star details on the side, and these black boots. To complete the outfit, I added a jean jacket that she usually wears and the accessories, like this golden heart necklace in place of her cat one, and these hoop earrings that have a crystal inside them. For some reason, this outfit gives me 80s vibes. Maybe it's the denim on denim combination, but I think that when it comes to Amy, she would definitely wear something like this. Maybe adding a little more color to it, like with a different jacket or pants. She's a sweetheart and I just wish her the best, so yeah. Jean Milburn Jean's style is very classic, it looks very elegant on her and just so good. We can also find in her wardrobe dresses, button up shirts with a knot in the front, wide leg pants. She loves jumpsuits, I think it's the item of clothing that we can immediately identify her with. The colors that she usually wears the most are green, orange, and blue. I think that Jean's style is very professional. She uses pieces that look quite elegant on her and that shows to the outside world that she's assertive and knows what she's doing, using the classic silhouette and adding her own spin to it. She looks like she owns the place. I knew I wanted to do Jean's style because of how good she looks in her outfits, 
This is a slightly attempt on that. I'm wearing this blue button up shirt. I did a knot in the front to coordinate with hers. This black white leg pants and these black wedges. For accessories, I added this green stone necklace and a pair of gold hoop earrings. There's other looks from her that I'm more into, but with what I had in my wardrobe, I think I made her justice. Her style feels polished and modern, and I just wanted to represent that. So, that was the video. I hope that you enjoy it. I think that one of the things that is most interesting while doing these types of videos is that you get to try different styles that you usually wouldn't wear because it's not your style, and then you can kind of see if you like. And I think that I felt that with a lot of the characters in here, like for instance, Ola. I really like what I did with her outfit. I don't know if I will wear that myself, but maybe now I might. But there's also cases where you put the outfit and you feel like, mm, this is not it, man. This is not my style. This is just not it. And on one of those cases, I felt so weird in that outfit. I was like, man, no way, this is not me, but like, it was fun to try. So thank you for coming in this little journey with me. I hope you had fun, I hope you had a good time, I know I did, and it's really cool to be able to share with you guys this, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, bye!